Okay, so I'm trying out um, a an Octave installation on my Windows machine. I don't go to the Windows side very often, so let's see how this works. Um, the window doesn't, or the desktop doesn't look very good because I just changed the thing here. So let's take a look here. Uh, of course, I'm going to have a bunch of pop-ups as I go because I haven't opened this for for a long time. Uh, Windows, there we go. Uh, recommended the installer about 300 megabytes. That's not too bad. Okay. So that shouldn't take too long. Uh, that's about 100 megabytes. Two hundred megabytes. Three hundred megabytes. <laughs> okay, good. I should have had that downloaded, I guess. But I wanted to do this live. Okay, so let's uh, bring this out. Uh, I guess I don't need that anymore. Shouldn't need it. And then let's go to our file folders, downloads. Yeah, what I got on here. Uh, hopefully, nothing too weird. <laughs> yes. Next. Next. Install. Whatever that means. Uh, let's see, do I have MATLAB on this machine? Yes. So I'm not going to register the M files with MATLAB or with Octave, but you might. I do have MATLAB installed on this machine, so uh, install. Oh, this is even the newer version. Good. So this is going to take a minute. Hopefully not too much longer than that. You know what? While this is going, uh, I think I'm going to uh, pause the video and go to the website and download a, those um, eigenface files that we used for class and we'll try that for the um, for the demo. Okay, we're back and it's still being installed. It's been, well you can see the time there at the bottom. Uh, oh, I guess that, I, that might have paused. I guess the regular time's at the bottom too. 6.47. Is that the actual time? Oh, it is. <laughs> uh, Windows times haven't always been very good for some reason. I'm not sure why. I had to keep telling it to go to a different time server. Did you have that issue? Here we go. Running post install script might take a while. Uh oh, didn't take very long in uh, Octave. So let's see how long it takes here. Hopefully not too long. Uh, the squeaky chair is back. Actually, I think it's a matter of uh, I need to tighten down the screws. All the uh, bolts came loose from me creaking around in this. Okay, excellent. We don't need the show read me. We can just run GNU Octave. Finito, finito. Very good. Uh, you seem to be using the for the first time. Uh, I don't need that. <laughs> uh, I'll allow Octave to connect because I don't come on the uh, onto the uh, window side of this machine very often. Excellent, beautiful, looks nice. All right. So now let's go to the downloads folder where I've got uh, the eigenface example all set up for us, and so. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and type in uh, uh, eigenface example. Now remember, in our last video, the SVD took a moment or two, but let's see if this works. The mean pops up pretty fast. Let's see if the mean pops up. Oh, the mean didn't actually come up. Boy, I'm hearing the computer rev up though. Maybe the Windows compilers are a little faster than the Linux compilers. I'm not 
chew it to think about that figure. We have some nice features in the uh, while we're hanging out here. We have command window documentation. That's nice. Uh, what's what's that all about? Oop! There's the <laughs> there's the figure that popped open for some reason. Uh, we have a variable editor we can look at. I don't know if any of the variables will show up yet. And we have just a regular editor. That's nice. So these are some nice features. Uh, you know, for free for free version of MATLAB. Okay, it's taking a little uh, a little while. Uh, I may pause this and so you don't have to wait. I'll come back when the uh, when it's done. And you can see the time. Right now it's six fifty one. Okay, we're back. The figures aren't. Uh, the, I'm getting some funny funny stuff going on here with the figures. Let's see if we can get them to work out nicer for the movie here. There's figure five, there's figure four, there's figure three, there's figure two, and here's figure one. So they're all here. And uh, that only took about a minute, so that wasn't bad. And now I have uh, Octave on my home computer, and uh, it's running very nicely. So that worked out really well. And now I have all the, all the memory I want. Very good. Okay, so I don't have a Macintosh, so I'm, I can't put one of those up. But uh, now you've seen installation for the uh, Windows version and Linux version. And so I hope you'll try it uh, for your home machine. Uh, it'll make the uh, going through the homework a lot faster. Um, I'm not sure about the memory constraints uh, that we might run into. Uh, what's probably going to happen is that you'll have to... Uh, uh, clear out your uh, you know left hand panel every now and then uh, to make sure that the the memory is there because we'll only do very small problems like toy problems um, but having the big version of Octave is always nice to have all right I'll see you later